And a very good evening. So this has become a bit more of a regular thing now, I guess. Um, Thursday evenings, we tend to be when most of the draws are happening now. It's happening on a weekly basis. So thank you very much for everyone that's got us to this position because it used to be two or three weeks, but now every week it's a lot more fun when we do it this way. Um, so it's now 25 past five. So just gone seven. So we'll go live at seven o'clock tonight and then you've got until about 10 past seven. Um, to buy your last minute tickets for uh, the Sunbeam, which is guaranteed to be drawn tonight. So at the moment, there's about 1,200 tickets left, but we can't stress enough, it may sell out, it may not. This is the cheapest car that we've done. Am I right in thinking that? It is, yeah. It's the chi t cheapest ticket price we've ever done. So it's three pound a ticket. There's 1,200 tickets left, so it may not sell out. But like Freddie just said before we went um, on camera, this is probably one of the best opportunities. If you've never taken part before, this is a really, really got, good opportunity to take part. Because A, it's only three quid a ticket, and also, you only need one ticket. So we just delivered a car to Simon a couple of days ago, which was the MGA. Um, so we delivered that yesterday, and that was one ticket he bought. It was a little bit more money, and he is used to the competition, but if you're new to it, and you're a little bit unsure at how it all works, it's three quid tonight. Um, 1,200 tickets left, so it may not sell out, but even if it does, it's £3, and it's a, it's a brilliant chance of winning. Have we got um, anyone watching? Yeah, yeah, lots of people watching. Clifford's watching, Peter's watching, Philip's Hello. watching. Hello, everyone. But yeah, as you say, we like to keep things fresh with different cars, different tickets, different amounts, so we thought we'd try something new with the £3 ticket price. They won't all be £3, Absolutely. but we thought we'd keep it And we asked you that, fresh. actually, during the week. We sort of said, is it better to have less tickets available for more money or more tickets for less money. So it was really good to get people's feedback. And it was a little bit mixed, really. And um, we were quite surprised. And this is why we thought we'd take the risk on this one. This is the first time we've gone with a lower, lower ticket price, but a few more tickets up for grabs. Donald McCurry's watching along, says hello. Hi, Donald. So if there's any questions you want to know, if there's anything you want to look at, now is the time to really look in depth at this car, see if there's anything that you need to know about it. I want to look in here. This interior is so nice. It's a brilliant car. I think everyone here has fallen in love with it. It's beautiful, isn't it? So we've got loads. Well, you can see the background. We've got loads going on. Uh, some amazing competition cars coming up as well. Graham's uh, weighed in. He says, I think £3 is a good price point. It's really good. Yeah, but obviously it meant that the tickets, you know, there was a few more tickets up for grabs. So that may not be to everyone's liking. But at the end of the day, if, you, if you're used to paying £9 a ticket, you buy three tickets, you've got three chances, you know, three more chances of what? two more chances than just one You can decide ticket. your own odds. You've got better you? odds, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, see, there's always ways, but equally, if you sort of feel that £9 is a little bit too much on a car that, because, you know, we've, we've all played this sort of thing before, and you sometimes you look at a car and you go, oh, I'm not really sure if I really want to spend £9 on that. So that's why we went with the £3 option, to give people that um, had a little bit less money they wanted to spend the opportunity to take part as well. So this is a cracking opportunity for that. So three pound a ticket. Uh, just before we went live, it was 1,200 tickets left. Um, it may sell out, may not. We're really not sure. It could do. It could do. There's always a last minute rush. So Ian Davy, previous winners, weighed in and says it does only take one ticket. Can't remember if Ian won off of one ticket. Let us know. Um, Sounds like he did. How many tickets you bought on the Ford Escort, Escort. that you won, Ian? He still, have you still got He has got the Escort. I know he has. It's pointless asking because I know you've still got it. He loves the Escort. It's good to see you online, Ian. So any, any other um, things that people want to see as well? If there's any, any other cars or motorbikes, should we say? If there's, there's anything that you want to stuff see. stuff in here today, isn't there? I mean, we don't want to give too much away, but... We'll have a very quick... We'll go into more detail in a little bit and we'll come back to the Sunbeam, but pretty much... Most of the things you see, most of them, I should say, in here at the moment are competition cars, future competition cars. We had Jason email earlier on today, who is absolutely desperate to win the, uh, the Dodge Viper. He wants to know uh, when that's coming up. And that was a good opportunity. So I emailed him back with a link to get on the mailing list. Now, what I, what I said to him, as I tell you as well, get on the mailing list and you're the first to hear about the new competition. So he didn't want to miss out on the Viper. So he's now on the mailing list. He'll be the first to hear of the Viper. Um, and we don't, we don't send you loads of emails. We don't spam you with unnecessary information. It is literally just facts and figures. This is the next car coming up. Um, there is often an opportunity to get a slightly cheaper 
ticket as well if you're part of the mailing list. So it's well worth being on that. It doesn't cost anything to be on the mailing list. And you can opt out. You know, if, you, if it's a car that you don't fancy or you don't want to hear from us again, we won't take offence. You know, just, just opt out. I'll take well, a <laughs> Yeah, what, what do you need to know? Um, I was just going to let you know that Ian's uh, let us know that he thinks from memory he did just have one ticket. So if that's an example to well, give. Well, there you then. go. There's loads of just one ticket winners um like i say simon who picked up the mga or we delivered the mga should i say yesterday he was one ticket i'm just trying to think off the top of my head it's, it's a, we it's hear a it all the time really, isn't don't it? we we hear it all the time when we call the winners during the live they'll often say oh one ticket or two tickets and there's so many times it's just been one ticket so yeah we've got the dodge viper coming up i've been drawn to the viper we, we shot this last week and i've just had a chance to look over the footage and photos today and Awesome. I love it. I think it's probably been my favourite car. So it was my poster car when I was younger. Um, and I bought it thinking, I probably won't sell this car. It'd be something to keep. But um, yeah, we then decided we would, we would let it go. And what a car. I mean, it's just incredible. Very not practical in a lot of ways. But look at it. It's stunning. You can't, I, I don't think I'd ever look at it and get bored of the shape. Donald McHarry's saying, because the Sunbeam was cheaper, I bought a couple of tickets. Well, good there luck go. for tonight's draw, Donald. Like uh, Craig mentioned earlier, we're going to be live from 7 o'clock. The competition closes at 7.10. Yes. So you've got a matter of hours to enter the draw now. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so not long. So what is it now? Half past, it's half past five. So you've got, what, an hour and a half. So you've got the, very quickly, got the Dodge Viper. The Lexus is an interesting one. We'll talk about that later on um, at 7 o'clock. So it'd be really interesting. If you're tuned in at 7 o'clock, it'd be really good to message us you know and, and freddie's on camera so he can read the messages he can relay them to me but that is a good talking point and i think we'll talk about that later on um because it's possibly a bit of a marmite car so um i've always loved him i had one years ago yeah i like him a lot we'll too. talk about it later so i now can confirm that little eva's been in here for a long long time it's a very very early mini and um we do a lot of work on these cars obviously we're a restoration company as well that is an example of a full nut and bolt restoration that Bridge Classic Cars has done. Um, it belongs to the director, Gordon, or his wife, Eva, hence the, uh, the registration number. I can confirm that will now be a competition car. Don't know if I'm supposed to tell you that or not, but no we made that decision this week that that is going to happen. So that's a very exciting one because that's probably well, certainly the best Mini we've ever done. It's a very, very unique prize to get a very early Mini in this condition is pretty much unheard of. So yeah, that will be a future competition car, hopefully very soon. And then you've got the MGB. We'll touch upon them very quickly because I'm conscious we need to get going. Obviously, we know about the Porsche, but we'll touch upon that later. The tickets are now available for that. It was launched a couple of days ago and it's over 50% sold already. We expect it to be. It's a brilliant car. We'll talk about it later. And then you'll see the Bentley and the Alpha again. We'll talk about them later but the reason for this is there's 1200 there was 1200 tickets left on the sunbeam that is going to be given away tonight just after seven o'clock so we'll go live at seven the full team will be here you can pick up tickets from now through until 10 past seven but don't leave it to the last minute because they're three quid a ticket so i'd imagine when everyone leaves off work now a lot of people leave it to the last minute even more people i think the fact that it's three quid are just going to say I'll give it a go. There's nothing to lose. So grab your tickets now, but we'll see you at 7 o'clock tonight for the live draw. 